welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome to my channel i welcome you with open arms and i hope that you decide to stay a while i love you guys so very much if you haven't already hit that subscribe button down below if you're a real og and you've already hit that subscribe button and smashed it and hit it and all them kind of good and crazy things then i thank you for coming back and watching another video so i hope this one is just as enjoyable as the last one that you watched let's just go ahead and Get on with the video. Um, I'm gonna be doing a, just a natural look that I kinda just go to on an everyday basis. I try not to go all glammed out um, when I'm just going to a baby shower or at the store. So this is gonna be just my natural look that I go for every single day that I decide to wear makeup because I do not wear makeup every single day. Spoiler alert. So the first product I'm going to go into is the Yensa Color Plus Face Tone Up Primer. And it's the Essential Glow. And this is what it looks like. It is, like, by far my favorite primer that I've used. I love it. And I just put a little dot on my finger. And I like to rub it together and then rub it from my cheeks first and then to my forehead because my forehead stays more oily than the rest of my face. So. That's that. All right, and then I'm gonna grab my Dirty Beauty Blender. Sorry, you guys, that is gross. But I'm going to go into my handy dandy, what I've been using for a little while now is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Soft Beige. And that's what it's looked like and it just has like a little um spatula thingy at the end of it that you just kind of wipe on and then i dot it all over my face and then blend it in So, I don't use concealer on an everyday basis. Um, I feel like that's just for more of my full glam. So, the next step is I'm just going to bronze up my face just a little bit. And I am using the Bare Minerals Bronzer in the shade Tinted. Don't know if they sell this anymore. And then I'm just using a big, fat, fluffy brush. And I'm just going to bronze up my cheeks just a little bit. Not too much because I don't want to make it look like I tried too hard. <laughs> I also then like to take my bronzer and just kind of fluff it around the nose, not trying to be precise. I like to fluff it around this side of the nose, grab a little bit more, and then fluff it around the other side. Not being precise, you just want a little bronzy nose. Okay, so now that my face is all bronzed up and we look like a sun goddess, we need to set all the foundation that we put on our face here recently. So. We are going, I say we, it's just me, but I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. This is in the shade Translucent. This is what it looks like. As you can tell, I really like this because I have hit pan on it. So I like to just sweep it across my face. Honestly, I like to sweep it everywhere just so that I know everything is set and ready to go for the day. Because usually when I do natural looks, I wear them for a long period of time or long period of time for me. So I like to set the whole face and make sure we are all set and ready to go. So now that we have all that done and over with, I am first going to set my fruit punch and welcome my dogs into the room. Hey buddy. What are you doing? Okay. Wanna say hello? Come on. Come on. No? Okay. He's shy. So now that I have everything set and ready to go, we are now going to jump into eyeshadow. So for my eyeshadow, I like to mix palettes all the time. So I grabbed the Jaclyn Hill palette and the Morphe 35V palette. 
So we are going to switch swap between these two today. And I'm gonna get these set up on my table and we'll be ready to go. Okay, so the first shade I'm going to dip into is gonna be in the 35V palette. It is gonna be the Go Nude. It's this shade right here that I'm hitting pan in. Um, I am going to take that shade and go all over my lid with it. And I like to take a big like packer brush and kind of just like pack it on to the lid. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to bring you in just, oh, I'm going to bring you in just a bit so that y'all can see what I am doing with my eyeshadow. So the first shade I'm going to go, or the second shade now that I'm going to go into is the shade Risky, and it is this purple, beautiful purple-ish mauve color in the palette, and that is that. For a natural look, I usually don't like to go hard into like a whole, whole look. So I like to go as neutral as possible. So I'm just gonna dip into that with this big fluffy brush and I like to tap it into the outer corner and then with circular motions, pull it down the crease and then swipe back and forth. And excuse my eyebrows, they need to be done, but your girl has not had time. Okay, so the next shade I'm gonna be dipping into is gonna be in the Jaclyn Hill palette. Sorry, I have face powder, like spots of it in this palette, and I don't want to ruin everything and try to get it, so it's just gonna stay there. So the first shade in the Jaclyn Hill palette that I'm gonna dip into is called Pooter, and it's this shade right here. And I am gonna take that and go right on top of the shade Risky, and dab it on, and then blend it in. And I'll clean out this fall, or clean out the fallout in just a second. I think I'm gonna leave it with that. First of all, I'm gonna clean out the fallout. So I'm gonna grab the Fit Me Powder along with my Beauty Sponge. And I'm going to tap the powder over the fallout. And kind of just let it sit there for a minute so that it can absorb the powder and I don't smear it all over my face. So I'm about to go right back into the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm gonna use my finger, sorry I'm shooting you a bird. Um, I'm gonna use my finger and go into the shade Little Lady and get it and put it on my lid. I'm gonna go into the 35V palette with my finger again and go into the shade Swipe Right and mix that over Little Lady. and kind of drag it down to the inner corner, like that. And then for the last color, I'm gonna go into the shade Knockout, which is a pure white shimmer shade, and I love it. And I'm gonna dab that right into the inner corner. Just like that. All right, so now that I'm done with the eyeshadow, I zoomed right back out and I'm going to just wipe away this powder that I put right under my eyeballs and go on to the next step. So the next step is usually um, eyeliner and I'm gonna go in with the Ciate London, Ciate London um, Starstruck eyeliner. Sorry, I cannot talk and I'm going to put it on my lids. <laughs> but now that I 
have my eyeliner done, I am going to go in with the Il Maquillage or Il Maquillage High Volume and Intense Curl Mascara. This is in the shade Icon. Okay, and for my last step, I am using a Morphe Liquid Lip, and I am going to be using the shade Vanity, and I am going to be putting this all over my lips. And then just to pop something in the middle, I'm going to be taking the other Morphe Liquid Lip in the shade Virgin and popping it right in the middle. And that is all that I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this helped you out for your just natural look. Well, it's not all that natural, but you know what I mean. It's as natural as we're going to get. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a massive thumbs up. Comment down below what you would like to see next. And if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You know you want to. You stayed this long. You might as well. So, I love you all individually. You are all a wonderful Human beings, I thank you for watching this video, and until next time, may God bless you all.